the American rocket pioneer. Yankee inventor, dreamer. They called him the Moon Man and laughed. But on his own, he went ahead designing, inventing, and testing. His first proving grounds were on his Aunt Effie's farm in Auburn, Massachusetts. The neighbors complained. With a grant from Daniel Guggenheim, he moved to New Mexico with his wife Esther, who was also his camera woman. Goddard had invented and launched the world's first liquid propellant rocket in 1926. And in the end, he accumulated more than 200 patents for everything from multi-staged rockets to fuel pumps and clustered engines. By the year 1930, his rockets achieved a speed of 500 miles per hour and an altitude of 2,000 feet. This was the year in which the three Apollo astronauts were born. Goddard had a vision of the age of space, but the world was too slow to make it happen before his death. Thank you, Robert Goddard, for your inventiveness and perseverance. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. I do understand, go for landing, 3,000 feet, top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. We're go, same type, we're go. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet, into the ag, 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. Eagle looking great, your go. Altitude 1,600. 1,400 feet, still looking very good. Roger, 12.02, we copy it. 35 degrees. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 700 feet, 21 down, 33 degrees. 100 feet down at 19. 543 down at 20. Okay, I'm going to leave that one foot up there and uh, both hands down about the fourth rung up. Magnificent flight out here. Magnificent desolation. 